is a recording of this year's virtual residency fair. We'd like to take the time to thank the programs that volunteered their time to present to this year's applicants. This year's PMNR Scholars Virtual Residency Fair is supported by PMNR Recap and Ultrasound Guidance. PMNR Recap is the leading resource for your physiatry board preparation, clinical preparation, audition rotations, and beyond. PMNR Recap offers 35 hours of review videos, hundreds of review questions, and oral board cases to help you become the best physiatrist that you can be. Head to pmnrrecap.com to learn more. Ultrasound Guidance is the innovative new on online ultrasound learning platform that gives you instant access to expert instruction. With rapid scans and complete scans of every joint and peripheral nerve, Ultrasound Guidance is the perfect way to jumpstart your MSK ultrasound learning. Visit ultrasoundguidance.com to learn more. So I'm Mike Andary. I am the uh, program director at uh, Sparrow, um, previously known as MSU. Um, I am going to turn it over to my residents who will be able to uh, do this better than me, but I'll come back on at the end. It looks like uh, Dr. Gage is uh, putting up the um, slides right now. So Josh, you got it? working on it. So yeah, our program was Michigan State University. We changed over to Sparrow uh, name-wise, uh, I think two or three years ago. So um, it's basically the same program, but we uh, changed names uh, kind of due to Sparrow and money, et cetera. So Josh, you on? I'm on. So my name's Josh. I'm one of the fourth year chief residents over at Sparrow, Michigan State. I um, just wanted to start off by kind of talking about the different hospital systems that we're affiliated with. We're obviously uh, Mary Freebed located at Sparrow Hospital. So we're located within uh, Sparrow Hospital here. We also have affiliations with McLaren of Greater Lansing, as well as McLaren out in Flint and some of the smaller private practices in the area with uh, Michigan State affiliation with MSU PMNR over through the Eid building. And then we also have affiliates with uh, Mary Freebed out in Grand Rapids, as well as the Comprehensive Pain Specialists of uh, Flint. So this is Sparrow here, kind of a uh, outside view here. It's a uh, within Sparrow in the Newman Foster and South Wing. We have a 40 bed inpatient rehab team where uh, we are the primary team on service there. Sparrow is the level one trauma center of mid Michigan here and is also a dedicated stroke center. So we do see a fair amount of traumas, multi traumas, as well as stroke patients, uh, as well as a multitude of other rehab diagnoses. Uh, within the Sparrow system here, we have our inpatient floor where there is a medical team that does help treat our patients as well as our own rehab team. There we also have dedicated physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech therapy, neuropsychology, and then on our floor we have two dedicated gyms as well as an ADL suite where we can pretty much simulate any environment uh, that patients would need to be able to get home successfully. Uh, we also, within the hospital network, uh, perform consults within Sparrow as part of our inpatient months and perform inpatient EMGs as well as outpatient EMGs and have access to a long-term acute care hospital located within Sparrow that we perform consults and um, partner with. This is a picture of the new McLaren Greater Lansing that was just developed in the Lansing area as well. So we do not have an inpatient unit at this facility. However, we do accept admits from this facility and uh, see consults and do inpatient EMGs over at this facility as one of our dedicated months. As part of this facility, we also have outpatient clinics affiliated with McLaren, where we get some more dedicated time with outpatient follow-up as well as EMG. So talking about curriculum here from an intern perspective, we are a categorical program. So you do perform your first year at Sparrow, which is quite nice. You get to know the hospital system that you'll be doing a lot of uh, your remaining years dedicated in PMNR at, as well as getting to know your EMR system. And then there's a lot of interdisciplinary collegiality that is nice to know so that we do have pretty much any service you could want consulted, the ability to consult them on the inpatient floor. So we do tend to take more acute patients and it's nice to be able to work with many of those services. So you are able to put a face to the name that you're talking to when you're consulting them. Part of your dedicated intern year, you do have a month of pediatrics um, that is typically more inpatient focused. You do a month of trauma a month in the ICU, two months of internal medicine, 
uh, typically dedicated with the residency service. We also do a dedicated month of osteopathic manipulative medicine that is both inpatient and outpatient, uh, as well as some dedicated radiology time where you tend to do a little bit more MSK radiology. Uh, some emergency medicine, but you also get outpatient rheumatology, two months of inpatient neurology, and then you'll see as part of the fall curriculum, you do get some outpatient neurology later on, and then some family medicine. And then I think really important is that you actually get in to work with our floor as an intern. Part of your follow-up years for two through four, where you're part of dedicated PMNR, you do a fair amount of inpatient rehab located specifically at our inpatient rehab floor at Sparrow, where it's the 40-bed unit. Um, you also get some time with outpatient neurology, but we also go out to Flint inpatient, uh, which is located within McLaren Flint, where there is a 22-bed rehab floor. It's a little bit different of an inpatient experience because you're just consult service there. And by that, I mean you're still rounding on your patients on a daily basis with an attending. However, the focus uh, is less on um, how you get these patients discharged and the medications with. It's more focusing dedicated on the rehab that you're doing for these patients, how you can manage their uh, pain, their bowel, their bladder function, their general rehab function. Uh, in addition, I'd mentioned the Flint outpatient pain, which is the comprehensive uh, Flint pain specialist. And then again, at the dedicated McLaren um, hospital where we do consults, EMG, but also that time spent with I, where there is a fluoroscopy suite and intraarticular injections. Part of the professional building or SPV uh, rotation, you need to round on the LTAP floor for the patients that we're following, but also spend a little bit more time early on in your PGY2 year doing dedicated time for EMGs and working on inpatient consults. You follow up many of these rotations in your PGY3 year, uh, repeating them again, uh, but specifically we do have a partnership with Mary Free Bed out in Grand Rapids, where you go out and spend two months of doing dedicated inpatient spinal cord management, as well as one month of dedicated inpatient pediatric management for PMNR. Otherwise, we do a um, selective month with orthopedics, and then you get some time spent with prosthetics and orthotics. And then rounding out your PGY-4 year, again, some more inpatient, but also a fair bit more outpatient, time to do selectives and electives if you're interested in fellowship. And the schedule can be flexible to adjust your selective and elective time frame if you are interested in fellowship early as uh, fellowships are becoming more competitive. Uh, there is the opportunity to do more EMGs if that's what you are focused on and interested in, as well as more time to get dedicated um, injection time, ultrasounds as well as fluoroscopy and sports guided um, interventions. For part of the PGY four year, we also have dedicated continuity clinic one half day a week where all of PGY fours will continue to see patients and perform Botox. I will switch off to Dr. Kara Arshambo, who will kind of pick up. All right. So moving on with some of our program highlights, um, this is a very well-established program. Um, MSU Physical Medicine and Rehab is, you know, very well known in our area. And uh, like Dr. Gage had mentioned, we have very good relationships with, you know, the other specialties in our area as well. Um, before single accreditation, we were duly accredited by both ACGME and the AOA. Um, and I think that's something that you'll find, you know, we're associated with Michigan State University College of Osteopathic Medicine. We have a lot of the College of Human Medicine um, medical students rotate with us as well. So, um, you know, very fluid and, and open to both of those philosophies. Um, our faculty and resi residents are also members of the MSU Department of Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation. So with that comes uh, some of the benefits of access to various uh, medical journals. Um, as Dr. Gage mentioned earlier, we're employees of Sparrow Hospital, but we do also have all those affiliations with McLaren as well as Mary Freebed. One big benefit is the categorical program um, that we have our intern year at Sparrow. So we do get to meet um, the other services and develop those relationships early on. Um, multiple EMR exposure. So Sparrow has Epic, um, which I find to be very user-friendly. We get the inpatient Epic there. When we're at McLaren, we get exposure to Cerner. And then with MSU, we have exposure to Athena. 
Um, both Sparrow and McLaren have Dragon dictation systems. We use a dictaphone dictation in some of our outpatient clinics. So we get a lot of different um, exposure to EMR systems and, and ways of charting. Um, and then as mentioned earlier, we get that interdisciplinary collaboration with multiple specialties. We make really good relationships and networking within our, within our hospital systems. Um, and then again, as mentioned earlier, we are level one trauma center and comprehensive stroke center over at Sparrow. So we do see some of those um, pretty, pretty intense multi-traumas and, and interventional um, neurologic conditions. So moving on to the next one, um, we get some very close faculty guidance. Each uh, PGY class is paired with a specific faculty mentor, but I think you'll find that all of our faculty are very approachable and very willing to teach. Um, it's one of the things that attracted me to the program was how invested everyone is in your learning. Uh, Dr. Ann Derry, our program director, does round every Tuesday morning on the inpatient unit with the junior on the floor. It's very intense, but such a great learning opportunity and um, something that, you know, even our, our therapy staff and nursing and patients seem to really enjoy it as well, watching us get grilled like paninis by Dr. Ann Derry. <laughs> um, we have a lot of different inpatient exposure, you know, with Sparrow, with McLaren, um, with Mary Freebed in Grand Rapids, but also our consult service and seeing patients on LTAC doing consult follow-ups. So lots of different inpatient exposure there. EMGs, if you're interested in electrodiagnostic medicine, we've got lots of exposure throughout all three years. Um, this inpatient exclusively, we are the service that does inpatient EMGs at Sparrow and McLaren in Lansing. So that is something that Dr. Andary pushed for us um, several years ago and we, we get them all. So you'll get uh, lots of very interesting neurologic cases um, coming in and then outpatient EMG as well, of course. We get lots of ultrasound um, exposure as well as fluoros fluoroscopic guided injections. Um, and as far as call is concerned, we do call from home very, very rarely will someone be called into the hospital. But for every one month that you're on inpatient rehab, you'll do a week of, of home call. And that can be spread out. It's determined by the residents, very resident driven there. As long as it's covered, you know, we, we make a good schedule. Um, and then again, resident driven, we, Dr. Andaria and our faculty really take our um, feedback into consideration and think it's a very uh, collaborative environment. Um, moving on to the next one, like I said, we've got a lot of really great resources in our connection with Michigan State University. Um, so that's excellent, the access to journals. Um, when we have our anatomy course for our PGY2s coming in, um, we do also have access to the cadaver lab over at Michigan State University, which is an excellent experience. Um, we also have this is something that I definitely wanted to add in. Um, Dr. Toki, our associate program director, is the chair of the Sparrow Hospital uh, Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Subcommittee, um, and I am our resident uh, representative. So this is something that's very important to us. Um, we want to make sure that we have an inclusive and supportive environment for all of the residents that come through and rotate with us, as well as medical students who are rotating with us. Um, we keep reiterating, we have all these different locations and some people might see this as a con, but we do have um, reimbursement for the mileage of you know, drive time to and from Lansing to Flint or Lansing to Grand Rapids. But like we keep mentioning, there's you know, all those pros to the different EMR systems, uh, working at Sparrow, which is you know our 40 bed inpatient unit within the larger hospital system where we're primary working over at McLaren Flint, where you're within the larger hospital system, but you're consulted on patients that are on the inpatient floor and internal medicine is primary. And we spend time over at Mary Free Bed in Grand Rapids, which is a standalone rehab facility. So you get all these different flavors you know, of running an inpatient rehab unit, the different EMR systems, you know, so that's really great. Um, we also have 
different fellowship opportunities through MSU, we rotate at all of these locations. So all mem in your first year, Dr. Tegmeyer, one of our attendings did um, the OMM kind of plus one at the time and kind of worked it in with his selectives, but that's a fellowship that's available to us. Um, MSU has an interventional spine, EMG and sports medicine two-year fellowship that's located in Lansing. And then there is an MSU affiliated interventional spine musculoskeletal fellowship one year in Flint, Michigan with comprehensive pain specialists. Um, our PGY4s uh, share chief responsibilities. Um, so it's we've got a really great uh, collegiate um, relationship with all of the residents. I'll pass it back off to uh, Dr. Gage. Thank you. So I wanted to briefly touch just about our didactic program. We do have protected didactics on Monday mornings for four hours where the attendings will hold the call phones and round on the floor patients. So this truly is protected time for you to study and work with your co-residents uh, to advance your own education. These are typically um, organized by the chief residents and are resident led with interdisciplinary lectures and guest speakers from our attendings as well as from outside institutions and incorporate both hands-on experience as, as well as doing journal club and interesting presentations and cases as well as group learning, preparing for self-assessment exams. Our program does emphasize going to conferences and will actually help sponsor some of that time. You get $1,500 of educational stipend that can help um, finance these conferences. And then if you are presenting, the program will help kind of cover some of your expenses to be able to attend and present. There's other international opportunities such as going to do EMGs in Zambia um, that some of our residents have done. You'll see pictures of later on where you actually are one of the foremost electromyographers in the country for it. Um, and then the PGY3s are sponsored to go out to Chicago to attend a prosthetics and orthotics conference, which is quite fun. Um, then during senior year, again, you can adjust your schedule to be able to accommodate um, both interviews as well as doing electives for fellowship. Uh, we do want to emphasize the osteopathic focus that our program has. We welcome MD applicants, and you do not have to be a DO to attend. We've had MDs in the past, and we welcome MDs. We do have OMM as part of our intern year and OMM services on our rehab floor at Sparrow that we emphasize and love to have part of our patient care, um, but we are happy to train MDs and osteopathic principals as well. So at this time, I'd like to turn it over to Dr. Vosell, who's going to continue to speak. Um, so like most programs, we do have a small amount of research that um, residents are required to do. This can be as little as a QI project. Uh, many residents decide to do more than that. Might include some different presentations or some um, publications and journals, some of which are listed here. And as they said, we do have some stipends to kind of help associate for costs with that. Um, I think a lot of these perks were already touched on, so I'm just going to blaze through them. The biggest perk is being part of MSU so that you get access to the libraries, um, online content, of course, the journals. We use their cadaver lab. You get discounts on things. We get a food stipend at our main hospital, Sparrow, as well as um, the Flint Hospital, uh, McLaren. We have our educational stipend. They also do all the health things you would expect, including 401k matching. I think for, if you pay, you match, they match half of yours up to through 6%. So um, there's also some other benefits, including um, personal assistance. They will do like auto dehaling, um, help you with oil changes in between things, stuff like that. Standard amount of days off, 20, and we get time off for education, as you'd expect. So we're located in Lansing. Um, kind of in the middle of the state, maybe not quite as exciting as some other places, but it's an hour from our Flint rotations, an hour from Grand Rapids, tons and tons of stuff to do um, in all of those places, four hours to um, Chicago. Uh, you can use Amtrak to get over there for your P&O clinics or um, for that course or to do some conferences, um, Big Ten University. So there's always different activities going on. Uh, we do a lot of things with um, neurology and stuff as well. And it's a really family friendly area uh, with the low cost of living. So lots of things to do for anyone. Um, biggest reasons that um, I think our, sets our program apart is that we're categorical. Um, we have a really nice mix of many different settings. So you get um, a lot of exposures and there's a lot of support at each level of our kind of program. Um, I think we might be the only program where you get EMG, true EMG exposure, your second through fourth year, which is amazing. And one of the reasons I came here 
Um, we have our osteopathic focus, as Josh mentioned. And then, of course, we actually are taking care, really good care of our patients, too. So we've been a top performer for overall quality of care for a number of years. All right, now you're stuck with me. We got about a minute left. I'm open to take uh, questions uh, with regards to, uh, we will follow the national rules with regards to um, interviews. So I think everybody's going to be doing, it's supposed to do virtual this year, not in person. So it looks like that's what we will do. Uh, we, we like, we use the signaling quite hard and uh, people who rotate here, we don't, they don't need to waste their signal on us. And if you put us in your personal statement, that will make it more likely we'll interview. Um, questions, quick. Now there's stuff that you can uh, look at. Th that's contacts with us. If you need more questions, you want to contact or email anyone of us. Um, adaptive sports, you'll see a picture coming up that we do do adaptive sports. We, and there are some, there it is right there, baby. Uh, so we do do some of that, it's pretty good. I don't know if it's the best in the world, but it's okay. Other questions? Doctor Ender, if you want to put up the uh, your that contact slide again, just so uh, there we go. There you yeah. go. Just you guys the... want to take screenshots or pictures of that? Bother the residents. Don't bother me. I'm kidding. You can bother any of us. Um, that was uh, fantastic. I love I love the presentation. The last slide with your uh, with what sets you apart from other programs. I think that's what we should which we should require from everybody. That was great. I had very little to do with that. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time. Uh, Thanks, fantastic you as always, uh, year after year. So, real excited to have you all back.